So, as many of you know, my father passed away recently, October 5th, 2024, and uh, so I've been um, processing that, and um, while I've been going through his things, I found something taped to his wall here, um, which I thought was rather uh, relevant to the subject of death and I thought I'd share it with you. So here it is. Um, and the author is unknown, um, but just tape, tape to the wall. So here it is. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what you've ever done or not done. It doesn't make any difference how many times you've deceived yourself or others it doesn't make any difference how many cheap verbal, intellectual, and mental imitations you've sold out for. It doesn't make any difference how many times you've used it, lied about it, betrayed it, pretended it, or pretended it didn't exist. It doesn't make any difference how many times you've lost it. The only thing that makes any difference is whether you have the honesty and the humility. Whether you're willing to be vulnerable enough. This very moment to find out what love is. And when you discover the vast and endless bliss of it, whether you are willing to be destroyed by it, whether you are willing to disappear into it now, and to disappear into it forever. Be honest with yourself. Is there really something else you'd rather do? As much as we'd like to think so, we can't really have love, simply because it is much bigger than whatever we imagine ourselves and our lives to be. All we can do is immerse ourselves in it drown in it, abandon ourselves to it, for in the end we don't really exist. There is only love. Why not let this be the end? Let it transform everything. If your surrender is pure and complete, it will change everything immediately. No longer will the aches of the body nor the fears and sorrows of the mind trouble you, for the body and mind will be in service to the heart, which will liberate all of your demons. I can't tell you exactly how it will be. You'll have to find that out for yourself. What I do know is that you will see things and hear things and feel things that will bring you to your knees. Passionately weeping in gratitude and redemption, we've all been hypocrites and liars. We've all stolen and used and hurt and betrayed. We've all arrogantly pretended to be superior and inferior. Why not let it all end here? Yes, let's stop. You can simply walk out of the battle, irreversibly and totally. Put an end to the war right now. Then things that seem so important will have collapsed into thin air, and you will find yourself seeing and loving people. Seeing and loving people you didn't even know existed. People you secretly ignored, feared, despised, and imagined yourself superior or inferior to. And you'll wonder, what could I have possibly been thinking? And you will see everything new and fresh and clear. And a calm and deep joy will pervade the entire universe. That's it.